Standard Journalist Toolbox training. My name is Mike Riley, the founder and editor of the Journalist Toolbox. Today we're going to work with a tool called Jitter.video. Uh, Jitter allows you to build motion graphics on the fly. Uh, it's a free account, uh, but you can not upgrade to a paid account uh, that gives you some different export options, which I'll go over in a minute. But I find that the free account works just fine for me. Uh, so if you want to hit pause right now, set up the free account, and then restart the video so we can get rolling with the tool. All right, welcome back everybody. Before we get started with jitter.video, um, I just wanted to mention uh, journalisttoolbox.org uh, houses several uh, great tools and resources for journalists. Um, up here in the upper right hand corner, we've got training videos of which you're watching one right now. Uh, we have a news e-newsletter that comes out every two weeks that you can subscribe to for free. Same with the training videos. You can subscribe to this YouTube channel. Um, uh, and as you go down through here, there's all kinds of topics that are of interest to journalists. First Amendment tools, tools for finding expert sources. This is around the holidays, so we have a lot of holiday stuff up. Resources for covering COVID-19. Down here in this little strip, we've got uh, data journalism and digital journalism tools. If you open up digital journalism, there's a section on productivity tools right down here. And this is where you can find tools like Jitter. There's tools uh, like Jitter listed in here, whiteboard tools, tools for creating uh, videos, all kinds of different things. Um, so uh, go to the uh, digital journalism page. Um, I also got a page on graphics and video, uh, social editing, social media editing tools. Uh, all kinds of resources here for you. Uh, almost all of these tools are free or have a free version uh, that you can take uh, and use. So let's get started with Jitter. Um, uh, Jitter uh, is free, uh, but it does have a pricing option here for $12 per month. Um, basically, you can export as 1080p if you, at 60 frames per second, more HD experience. So if you're creating videos maybe for uh, motion graphics for uh, you know a video intro or something like that uh, then I would go with the $12 monthly version the free version works fine it only lets you do 720p and 30 frames per second uh, but I use this tool mostly for social media uh, graphics that I attach motion graphics that are attached to uh, a tweet or post in in Facebook or something like that um, so uh, it, those are the options uh, that you have there um, uh, up here, uh, you have this little uh, new file start. You can also import uh, from a whiteboard uh, uh, creation tool called Figma. So you can draw something in Figma and then import it here, export it from Figma and, and import it here. Um, that's a good option. Uh, uh, you also have templates up here of all kinds of different things. Um, uh, you can animate a tweet. Uh, you can do a little text message thing if you wanted to create a little uh, a mock text message uh, 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 experience, you know, you can list apps, uh, you know, if you're moving a, a product or something like that. Uh, do a little, uh, you know, a banking app, things like that. So there's a lot of different options here that you can just go in and, and select this option uh, and then uh, type in the text and, and add the image that you want. So you can recreate your uh, uh, Twitter uh, account here. You can create T, you know, text uh, or uh, phone notifications here if you want that. Um, you know, the text message one's kind of kind of a cool one as well. Um, so those are all the different templates. You can also create something from scratch, which is what I'll show you how to do here. Um, they've got video training tutorials right up here and pretty good help center too. If you're having trouble with anything, you can write to them. Uh, the video tutorials are very short, usually a couple of minutes long uh, and walk you through, you know, all kinds of different uh, steps. But it's it's pretty WYSIWYG tool. Uh, and you can pick up on it pretty quickly. So uh, we'll walk you through some basics here. I'm going to hit new file and a blank board uh, shows up here. Uh, and over here, it gives me layout, background and, uh, you know, duration, you know, four seconds it's going to play. I'm going to take mine up to about 10 seconds uh, just to have my video play a little slower. Your background color, you can go in and select here. Uh, and I'm going to select kind of a dark red, um, yeah, almost a blood red. Uh, it's got my sizing here, uh, 640 by 360. You know, you can change it to fit uh, whatever, uh, uh, you know, size uh, you need for your social media. 640 by 360 meets uh, my needs, so I'm good there. 
Um, and then uh, you can rename this. It's, it's just default out. Uh, artboard is the default for it. Uh, so I'm going to re hit rename uh, and I'm going to name it Redline Teaser. Okay. And that's the design. Get those basics set up first. Notice your layer over here changes to Redline Teaser. Uh, and then you can work from there. Um, uh, next step is to go into Animate. Uh, and that's where it will give you uh, your animation options. Uh, you can go in and hit New Animation. Um, and you can select a different color if you want to and have it you know, kind of gradient out uh, to a different color. Um, and you know it'll default this in here, but you can change in the timeline anything you want. So if you wanted this to change uh, colors, you could. I'm going to take it back to my red. Add text to this. You have some tools up here at the top. You can add images, shapes, all kinds of different things. I'm going to add some text to the top of this. And it defaults with a font, and it defaults with usually dark text. Um, don't try to click on here and do the editing here. It, it's a bit testy. Uh, it'll, it'll lock up sometimes. Do the editing over in the window here. Notice it gave me a text tab. Um, so I'm going to put in here coming soon. All kinds of effects here that you can add. Um, I'm going to give this kind of a silver feel to it. Um, different fonts I can select, font sizes, you know, uh, all kinds of different settings here. Um, you can adjust the color again if I want to change the opacity. I kind of like having a little drop shadow on here. It gets a little uh, kind of get 3D effect there. Uh, I can change the opacity and you know darken it up a little bit if I wanted to. Take it up to about 70%. Uh, and it gives it a little more of a pop. Okay, so I've got coming soon kind of in silver there. It's not my favorite color, but uh, it, it'll work. And I'm gonna add some more text. This is a new website that we have coming called redlineproject.news. We've been .com for many years, or .org for many years. I'm gonna change my color here. color picker and I'll add a little bit of a drop shadow. Why not? Again, you could change your cases, all uppercase, all lowercase, or upper lowercase, whatever you want. You can take the font size down. I'll take it down to about 30. Recenter it. Notice it gives you a centering thing here. Uh, and then you know, I can add more text. I'm just going to do a text one here. Um, and I'll add new design. New features. up a little bit and I'm gonna add one more line. I'm gonna take this font size down to about 25. And add one more. You can tell people when it's coming. It's coming March 1, 2022. And again, you'll get a feel for these little tabs over here and, and what uh, what you could do with them. You take the font down to about 22. And I'll give it a drop shadow, why not? Give this one a drop shadow as well, just to be consistent. Okay, so now we've got you know just a basic text presentation here. Um, uh, if I want to animate this, I can animate uh, each of these lines. I'm going to get rid of what I've got here. Okay, it goes back to my original. 
drag my timeline over. And then I can highlight that and select an animation for coming soon, as long as I've got that highlighted. New animation, and it'll give me, you know, will it come across, you know, like this, sweeping across screen? Will it slide? Uh, will it mask, scale, you know, kind of where it grows in? Let's do kind of a fade in. Okay. I'm going to select this one. I'm going to give it a different animation. I'm going to give it the slide. I'm going to have that pop in right here. A couple of seconds in. Notice you can adjust the timeline as you go here. And I'll highlight my next one and animate that. As long as you're on that animation tab, I'll do a little different slide. You can see the effect as it comes in there. Layer this one in. And then animate our very last one. I'll do a little slide in with that. It's kind of cool because it gives you the animation as you add it in. And now I've got a little animation here. You can hit a practice play on this if you want to and see how it looks. And it'll slowly fade in. There you go. Easy to export. You know, and you can slide these around and kind of adjust them to fit, you know, whatever parameters you want. Um, you know, if you want them to come in one at a time, you know, shorten this top one up and then have this one appear and this one appear and this one appear. I kind of like to have them overlapped and slowly fading in together. It was the effect I was going for. So, you know, you kind of stack them like this. Uh, and be patient with it. You know, give it time. Let those first few words fade in, then the next and the next. Don't inundate somebody with something that goes boom, 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 you know, uh, where the, all the text is dropping in at once. Slowly fade in it. You get a feel for it after you've used it a few times. Hit the export button. Um, this you know stops you here. You have to have the pro version. Um, 720p gives me that option. I could do 480 if I wanted to, but 720p is, is pretty good for uh, an option for the web. Um, it allows you to share it straight to Twitter, uh, Insta, um, uh, and uh, you know uh, TikTok as well. Um, it will export here. It does take a little while for the video to export, um, and then once it pops in here, like it just did here, you can download. It. I like to download it. Uh, and save it you know, into my downloads folder. That way I always have a backup copy if I want to use it again, uh, I can do so. Uh, and then, uh, you know, it's pretty much just going and pulling it uh, out of your downloads folder uh, and going to Twitter uh, and, and sharing it then. You know, it's a, a pretty easy uh, technique to do. So, uh, you know, here's my Twitter account for Redline Project. We cover news and uh, Chicago's uh, neighborhoods using data and digital tools. Um, there's, this is one that I created not long ago, a similar uh, one that I've got as my pinned tweet. Um, I can just go here then, hit tweet, and Attach my image in my downloads folder. It's sitting right here. I downloaded it twice there, so you can grab either one. And now I've got, you can hit play here if you want to play it again, but I'm just going to tweet it out. It does have limited export options, so here it is. There's my tweet. You can see it coming in. A little delayed on the one up here. I need to shorten that one a bit there you have your motion graphic and you can do this you can have images slide in uh, text slide in you can do all kinds of really fun things with this um, there are other tools on the market that, that uh, you know do this I, I happen to like this one just because of its uh, simplicity of its timeline uh, very easy to use the the little uh, 
uh, animation tools over here. It's very easy to set up. So uh, that's jitter.video. Uh, um, try it out. Uh, give it a try and let me know what you think. Take care.